What up, family? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Dale. Everybody else on the sideline. Dang. So, before we get into bush today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop chicken like eats like these. Now, we've got some, it's a cheesy kind of day, you know what I'm talking about? So, I've got some cheese sauce, sweet and sour sauce made by Bay. Then, we've got some curry noodles mixed with some cheese noodles with some cheese and some cheese sauce, macaroni and cheese. A tower of chicken. Gotta have honey in the cut with the hot sauce too. We got a lot of new family members. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Y'all can be anywhere on these YouTube streams. Y'all chose to be here with us. So for that, we are appreciative. Mm. Yeah, mixed bag. They good, but that thing is spicy. It, it, it got a nice little um, kick to it. Kick your waist. Pit made the macaroni and cheese. For the first time. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's what I said. That's good. You know, most people first time making something, they they have something some kind of error or something go wrong. But that's usually because people don't pay attention. But he followed what she was saying and paid attention. It ain't bay macaroni and cheese, but it's good. Chicken's good too. Mm-hmm. Cheesy noodles, cheesy chicken, macaroni and cheese. And cheese sauce. <laughs> Cheesy kind of day. The boys are in Mobile at the beach with their great grandmother. So you don't break. Man, babe. That chicken good. Them noodles too. And now yeah, I do it. They do have a lot of flavor. For the grammar police. It was spicy. Hmm. Oh. I was just gonna say for the grammar police, I know I said Bill in his day. How have you been? I must say, you know, some of the most unpredictable and unfortunate events can cause you to look at life and kind of reevaluate life on a whole different perspective. Like I have a older brother who I'm not that close to because of Kind of how my childhood was. And with myself being the oldest, I always wanted kind of like that big brother. But I didn't really think about it and realize like my closest cousin Now, um, as well as my best friend, they're both older than me, so I've technically had two older brothers my whole life. Because all of them, I reached out to my brother, and he may want to have a relationship with me as much as I want to have one with him. 
us communicating frequently is kind of foreign to both of us because we've kind of grown up separate in these bubbles. So if we don't like get close, regardless of how much I may try, I don't really say, I don't feel like I've fallen because I kind of understand I'm 30. And that's a long time ago without talking to somebody. And not even really thinking about them on a consistent basis, you know? But I'm also thankful for the older brother I have and the two that I just mentioned. My cousin Bob and my best friend Emmanuel. Because sometimes in life we get caught up and hang up on the things that we didn't have that we don't stop to really, really appreciate the things that we do. Because they're good. I'm trying to make a macaroni and cheese. Instead of eating your noodles, you're going to be full of the macaroni. I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Because kind of being the oldest, I know what it's like to kind of have that person and that rock leaning on. Because sometimes no matter how well you handle it, hand, handle, no matter how well you handle it, that kind of stuff, it can, you know, it can cause you to it can get down and up sometimes. Because you want someone to vent to you so you want someone that you can go to to help you resolve problems. Instead of that burden falling on you. Mm-hmm. We got lights on. The window is up. I'm eating. I'm eating spicy mac and noodles. Bam! Let me get y'all up. Get y'all good side view. Have some of that fam. Macaroni and cheese by pit. I ain't touch my cheese. Hmm. I ain't touch my cheese. I was about to ask you with some ranch too.
you want to eat your other video. Every time we say we put something on the video that you ain't supposed to eat, you eat it. We Such is life right now. So we had the tomahawk steak. <laughs> the lamb. You were eating the lamb. And you were probably eating the steak. But I still ate my steak. Mm -hmm. I've never understood that how it's fat to be thinking about another kind of food while you eating something. Why can't I just be mapping out my next meal? What food you think about? Seafood? Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. But I've never understood that how someone is fat by thinking about food when they're eating food like food doesn't make you hungry while you're even eating it yourself this is good but i'm also thinking about whatever i'm eating next mm -hmm. that's how you stay ahead of the game He gonna laugh when he watch this video. He'll be like, mm-hmm, noodles, huh? Mm -hmm. What's more because you're eating macaroni? And you said you didn't want no macaroni. That's what I was saying. I did what I did. You was the main one hollering, I want noodles. I want noodles. I was. I did the same thing though. I said I ain't gonna make on it. And I ate the school real good. This bowl will be for the thumbnail. Mm. 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 And you didn't eat it. You said what? I said you didn't eat it. Mm-hmm. And not your other noodles. I thought you said we need to eat it. I was like, yeah, we need to do that too. Oh, I said you didn't eat it. I have. I'm a priest for my younger brother. Tomorrow, Junior. Because he look out, he's a very good little brother. When he's not picking on me. <laughs> Naive a little bit, but. We all go through that. Did you pick all your silver? Mm -mm. Probably not. I was the one who they came through, they were picking on each other. Mm. Make me out, I'm gonna pull up. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Man, even though she talks low, she is always hyped by her food. 
She has some good recipes too. There's one in particular I can't wait to try. Comment down below if you can guess what it's so good recipe we're gonna try. Ate too many mac noodles. Mm. And that chicken was good. It was so very snap. Tomatoes so very snap. Stuff so good you gotta make up. It's all lingo. Look, I This is what I haven't touched. Mm -hmm. Babe, I really can't believe you got them new, that whole stack of noodles sitting over there looking like that. Yeah. And you were doing all that hollering like them noodles. And they look so good. They but were so good. That's almost like what you was talking about. That pork chop. You did all that talking about that pork chop and beat it one time. Man, you pregnant. They be the pregnant stuff. You really, really want something, then you get it and you be like, this is not. But that's not it though. This just was good. <laughs> and. The tastes are more familiar together. We're talking about chicken and macaroni and cheese, other than chicken and noodles. Opposed to chicken noodles. So after taking one bite, it's easy for your taste buds to say, you know what? I don't want hot noodles. I don't care how good it is. I want some mac and noodles. <laughs> I want some sweet heat. Mm hmm. Like having soul food without having the whole thing. Mm hmm. Because you can't beat chicken, fried chicken, and macaroni and cheese. You can eat your noodles with a seafood boil later. Mm hmm. And then maybe I'll use some I love y'all fam, but I didn't feel like doing my hair today. It's just the truth. Thank you, Uncle Pig. <laughs> and next time he asks you macaroni, you can do it yourself. You look cool, man. And then that last bite. I said, my last piece of chicken, what you mean? <laughs> well, although we have these noodles here, just gonna put them with a seafood boil later. So, sadly, we are coming to that point in the video where we must let you guys go. So, until next video, fam, love you guys.